Strange and significant events occurred over the past few months, and many symbolic pics appeared in mass media. Okay, let's get straight to the point. Madonna is a frequent topic of conversation on this channel, because, well, if you can't make good music anymore, you need to do something to stay in the spotlight. Madonna recently posted a video on Instagram reading passages of the book Pop Magic, especially the chapter titled You Are the Illuminati. For years, I've been calling Madonna the Grand Priestess of the music industry, due to her status in the occult elite. She recently posted a picture of herself with the caption High Priestess Illuminati. I know, Madonna. That's what I've been saying since long ago. By the way, let's talk about the One Eye Sign. Speaking of the One Eye Sign, as usual, that sign was often right on the cover of magazines because it is all about visibility of celebs who lose half of their vision. This picture shows the rap duo City Girls were featured on the cover of ID magazine, where they hide each other's eyes. The comments on this IG post indicate that people are starting to understand what this truly signifies. Metal Hammer magazine released two covers to celebrate the 10 years of baby metal, a subgenre that is full of symbolism in itself, Appropriately enough, the covers are all about a double one-eye sign. Wolfgang Van Halen is the son of Van Halen. This article in Louder magazine talks about him stepping into the spotlight. Appropriately enough, the lead picture is Van Halen doing a big fat one-eye sign. The takeaway. That's the kind of crap that you need to do to be in the spotlight. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Evan Hart was nearly cancelled due to some tweets and comments he did years ago. Now, to stay in the spotlight, his work needs to have the elite stamp of approval. In this case, it's the one eye sign using the foot of a baby. Actress Robin Wright, mostly known for her role in House of Cards, makes a blatant one eye sign on the cover of Cosmopolitan Germany. Machine Gun Kelly does the one eye sign in GQ magazine. He's really down to embody all parts of the elite's agenda. Lily Rose Depp uses a flower to make the one eye sign on the cover of El Russia. That's so creative and original. Selma Blair uses a flower to do the one eye sign in Town and Country magazine. These people are geniuses. The album cover of Group Japanese Breakfast features the one eye sign using a persimmon fruit. The very obvious one eye sign on the cover of El Official Italia. Same magazine, El Official, different country, Ukraine. Same one eye sign. Alessandra Ambrosio does a massive one-eye sign on the cover of Numero Russia. The eye-shaped ring on her hand is there, to make sure you understand that the one-eye sign has a meaning. It is not random at all. Dave Balvin does a big fat unmistakable one-eye sign on the cover of El Official. That's the price to pay to be dubbed the Prince of Regiaton. As you might know, BTS is a hugely popular K-pop boy band that, as the media likes to say, conquered the world. They recently announced the release of a concept photo book, and, according to what I saw, about 40% of the pics are one-eye signs. Here are two of them. This is a screenshot from an ad promoting the book. A bunch of one-eye signs and pictures of the group under a net. Speaking of K-pop, this is the cover of High and A's single, I'm not cool. One eye sign and butterfly. But wait, maybe it's just random stuff with no meaning. Let's look at another pic of her. Big fat one eye sign. High and A posted this image to celebrate 20 million YouTube views. The takeaway from this. K-pop is 100% controlled by the occult elite. 
Meanwhile, Katy Perry is doing a song featuring Pikachu, or something, I don't really care. In this lame attempt to target the lucrative youth market, Katy Perry hides one eye. This is the cover of a comic book created by Game of Thrones star Emilia Clark. Of course, intense focus on the one eye sign. The superhero is a single mom, whose superpowers are her menstruations. Also, she can swing like Spider-Man from her armpit hair. These people are not well. The cult series, Charmed, which is about good witches was recently rebooted. This promo pic manages to incorporate a triple one-eye sign, indicating that it is triple approved by the occult elite. Speaking of which, not a typo, Charlie XCX had a nice message for the young people out there. Some people might say that she was being ironic. I am pretty sure that her upcoming material will prove that she is being very literal. Aurora is a Norwegian artist who gets intense praise in the media. Incidentally, nearly everything she does is replete with occult and MK Ultra symbolism. The cover of her latest single is pure occult elite madness. She sits on a ritualistic black and white floor while making a one-eye sign using a mask, representing an alter persona. If you think I'm reading too much into this, keep watching. This photo shows the cover of her first album, appropriately titled, All My Demons Greeting Me as a Friend, is pure monarch programming. It is called monarch because butterflies emerged from their cocoon completely metamorphosed, like MK slaves after programming. Pure MK Ultra Symbolism I could post pictures of Aurora all day, but I think you get the picture. Nivea posted this one I sign ad during Pride Month. That means, this is all part of the elite's agenda. It was recently announced that Rihanna is now a billionaire. However, that doesn't mean a thing if one is an industry slave. In a photo shoot for Vogue Italia, Rihanna makes the one eye sign. Repeatedly. This photo shows a feline print hat, representing beta kitten programming, hides one of her eyes. Can she make it clearer to you? Money doesn't mean a thing when you sold your soul. Every time I land on Britney Spears' Instagram page, I end up taking a bunch of screenshots because A. It is very creepy, B. She clearly doesn't maintain it, C. She is probably forced to dance around in outfits, D. The account might be used to traffic her in elite circles, B. It is full of MK symbolism. Recent posts only make things worse. In this post, Britney wears a feline print outfit which is used by the elite to identify beta kitten slaves. Her caption talks about Miss Pussycat, the name of an alter persona. Britney's account is full of pictures of butterflies, a reference to monarch programming. I kind of doubt that Britney Spears posted this creepy pic herself. The caption talks about the devil is in the details, one of many enigmatic captions on her account. As usual, people in the comments are extremely concerned and confused. Converse recently teamed up with fashion designer Rick Owens, and the result was satanic. In this pic, the models form an inverted pentagram while holding inverted pentagrams in their mouths. Judging by comments on social media, people overwhelmingly hate campaigns. However, in this age of stakeholder capitalism, ads are not about selling products, they're about pushing propaganda in order to stay on the good side of the elite. Nigerian rapper Burna Boy is one of the biggest artists in Africa. Of course, he had to do the one eye sign with a defeated look on his face in British GQ. You'd think they'd leave Africa alone with that crap. It's just getting started. The post on Megan T. Stallion's Instagram said that she was going offline to recharge. This is the picture that was posted with it. How is this not pure MK Ultra? And this is the last photo in this video. Lil Nas X does the hidden hand sign in GQ style. That sign is 100% Masonic. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content.
Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.